So in this video, we're going to go over how to edit images that are already embedded into a PDF. The example we have here is just an example file here with a few images that were placed in. This document was created in uh, InDesign. And now I need to make this photo black and white or edit this photo. So whatever we need to do, we'll go ahead and open up this PDF in Acrobat. And if you look, we've got our PDF already with these embedded photos. Well, what you can do is click Tools, Edit Text and Images, and then when you go and select either of these images, let's say this one, for example, we need it black and white. If you right click, go down to Edit Using and Adobe Photoshop, go ahead and click Yes on that warning window, it will open up this embedded file in there and we can go to Image, Let's say we want to change it, um, the color mode to grayscale. Go ahead and click OK. And then if we close out of this document and click Save, it should automatically update in that PDF. So now we've got our PDF with the updated graphics in there. Uh, or this image, we'll go edit using. So right click on your image, edit using Adobe Photoshop click yes on the warning. Let's say this this image, we need to make sure this baby has glasses on. So I'll go ahead and just draw some awesome glasses on this baby. And go file save. And you can see it just automatically updated in my document. So this is a great way if you get it sent a PDF or you have to, in a pinch, edit a PDF. Obviously, you don't want to do this all the time. You want to edit your original image. And if you have access to the InDesign files and to go back and actually do that there. But this is one of those things where sometimes you don't have that luxury and you have to edit an image directly from a PDF. So this is a great way to do that. And also, if you maybe you need to pull an image, you can always do the edit image, open it up in Photoshop, and then save it as a JPEG. So it's a great way to pull images from PDFs as well. Hey, thanks for watching, and we'd love to hear your feedback, whether it's positive or negative, so we can continue to improve our channel. And as always, like, comment, and subscribe.